Hello everyone, we're back to review Dancing with the Stars, season 21, episode 10, week no, I'm 8, on, um, I think, I, I believe so. Sure, let's get this started. Okay, so, just reminded me that Hayes went home, okay, we're just gonna move on. So this week, it was actually pretty cool. The theme was like, pick an icon or someone who inspires you. And um, yeah, it was really nice to see whoever one picked and their dances were in like, dedicated to that person. I don't know why I can't talk. Carlos and Whitney went first. Carlos has never done salsa before, even though it's like, in his blood or whatever but he did a very good salsa with whitney i really loved it and i don't know it's <laughs> also fake i really loved it i know but i actually liked it okay god well the scores were three nines and i thought it was um it was well earned they definitely deserved that um i think he didn't get a 10 because he like missed a lift or something but hey you know Whatever. Next up is um Alec and Lindsay and watching his package, like I felt so bad, you know? Cause he says like, hey, I'm, I'm just a regular guy. And that's true, you know? He really, he was on the show and like, he didn't, I don't know. He didn't really get time to process the fact that like he was that big of a star. Like all he want, like he said, all he wants to do is like go on a train and not die, and and then he's meeting with the president and he's like doing all this stuff. Like he can't actually interpret the fact that to some people he's their hero. It's hard for him to believe. I really love this dance so much. Like this was really good. They did really good with the contemporary. Um, I guess they missed some lips or whatever, but I didn't, it wasn't noticeable to me because I was just so happy during the whole thing. It was very, very good. I loved it a lot. I think it was definitely their best dance so far. Um, in review, I honestly, um, I thought they were going to be in jeopardy because the, yeah. um, competition is getting, like, tight. And they reviewed, they were revealed oh. that they were safe. And that made me so happy because, I mean, yeah, he has the potential to, like, do good in this competition. He's doing good. That was a very good dance. <laughs> Lindsay, you did an awesome job choreographing that. I don't know if I said that right. Yeah, and the gentians were, like, it was simple. Um, I don't, I don't know. I was very intrigued the whole time. So, I'm gonna have to disagree with whoever said that. So, their scores were 988, which I was surprised. I would have given that all nines. Up next is Andy and Allison. They're one of my favorite teams. They make me happy. They just do like that team. They're so joyful and they just, I don't know. They make me happy. <laughs> His package, it like melted my heart. It was dedicated, oh my God, dedicated for his mother. And it was just, oh, it was such a nice dance. Um, It wasn't one of his best. I, I did, I, I definitely saw why the Junctions gave them, like, the scores that they got. I, it wasn't one of his best. Like, he, he did, like, he's done really, really good in past, in the past week. And, I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say. He's done better before than this dance. So I can, I can see why he got the scores that he got. I would have given it, like, um, an 8. I think I would have given it an 8, but again, I mean, I'm a little biased because I'm in love with that team. I thought it was really nice, like, how he dedicated... I thought it was really nice how he dedicated that dance to his mom, and even though he didn't get a 10 from the judges, I'm sure he got a 10 from his mom, and that's all that matters, right? Aww! Aww. Up next... Alexa and Mark and they just I love that team. They're such an awesome team and I said this about in my last video about last week, but Mark is just so creative. The whole concept was great and I really liked who she picked. Um she picked David from David and Goliath and it was um like I don't know, it was a really, really cool dance to watch 
and um that whole like shadow thing was really cool i thought it was really awesome it it was really good i don't know what else to say like i don't know it was she really it was yes so her scores were 988 it was because she like she slipped or whatever but again and i felt so bad and at the end she's like i'm so sorry like oh no baby alexa it's okay i love you i love you so much i think because of that one slip up I would have given it a nine, but I didn't even notice it. I didn't notice it until I noticed it. Yeah, I didn't notice it until my sister pointed it out, and then they like replayed it. That was when I noticed it. But when I was watching it the first time, I didn't even notice it. So like, if it were only me watching, I would have given it a ten, cause I loved it. So next, one of my favorite teams this season, um, Nick and Sharna. This was this was my favorite dance of the night. It was so beautiful. It told a beautiful story. This package was amazing. Sharna, you killed it again, like like always. Like come on. Um, I think that got all tens. Definitely got all tens. And they won immunity. I um I would have given that an eleven. I would have given that like a one million. I love the package and how happy he looked yeah. when he was at the baby's uh, ultrasound. And the song and the know. dance and the choreography. It was just so amazing. It was so beautiful. They definitely killed that. They deserved that immunity that week. That was amazing. And it's a Backstreet Boy! Uh huh. Congratulations, Nick and Lauren, on your little baby boy. Up next is my my adorable little Bindi and my adorable little Derek. I wish I had as much positivity as Bindi. I am the most negative person on this planet, I swear to God. I'm so negative. I wish I had that much positivity. She's amazing. And she's pushing through this competition as if it's no big deal. She's dancing so much, like her toenails are falling off. Her, she's getting blisters everywhere. She, her knees are swelling up. And she's like, oh no, I'm falling. I don't know what kind of accent that was, but, you know. And she's so positive. She's in, like, all this pain, and she keeps on dancing. That's so amazing. I, I wish everyone had that attitude towards life. She's great. She's so strong, and to get through the physical pain of this competition, she just keeps on dancing and going, and she did absolutely amazing. Like, it was so good. I didn't see anything wrong. I really didn't. A lot of people think that the judges are just being too nice to her, but it's because she's really, really good. You can't, like, criticize something that's not wrong. Her dancing is really good. It's so good. I guess uh, Julianne saw something with her posture. Posture? I can't talk. I didn't see what was wrong. I thought it was really great thought everything was great. I thought it was so fabulous. I mean, the dance was amazing, and Bindi is my buttercup, and she's gonna win the whole competition, so I would've given that a 10. Her scores were 10, 9, 1. 10, 9, 1, what? Her scores were 10, 9, 9. Well, roughly, is it about blueberries or like applesauce? What is it? <laughs> what? Up next, one of my favorite teams, Tamar and Val. I feel terrible. They're getting so much hate from her package from last week. And I love Val. He's one of my favorite pros, and he's so real. And I really liked how he went up to the producers, and he was like, I don't really like how you're portraying my partner. She's upset, so I'm upset. He, he cares about his partner. That is, that's saying a lot, you know? Obviously, that's not, like, who she is. They're making her look like this total brat, and she's not a total brat. And she's a very good dancer, too. And like she said, you have to say this stuff to believe in yourself. Like, I go to therapy every week, and that's what my therapist says. She says you have to, like, look in the mirror and say, like, I am confident, I am strong, I am this, I am that. Whether you believe it or not, because eventually you'll start to believe it. Ooh, that's how you start to believe in yourself. I really like this dance a lot. She dedicated it to her sister, Tony. I really like Tamar and Val. They're one of my favorite teams. I'm hoping they make it to the finals or the semi-finals because they are a good team. They're strong, strong dancers. Their scores were 9, 9, 10, and Tamar was so nice. She was like, thank you, like, I appreciate you guys so much. And she's, she's a really kind person. I really love that team. I don't, I don't know. Oh, I wish people didn't hate on them. And now it's time for the dance-off! Woohoo! I love the dance-off, but this season it was very, like, scary because, um, 
they instead of doing like the same song um like one person then the next person it was like they were doing the same song they were doing it side by side and as they were dancing america like was vo can i help you no can you get out of the shot Oh, I'm sorry. How's that? More? Yeah. How's that? A little more. How about now? That's good. Okay. They were standing side by side, and America was voting live, and you could actually see the bars moving. It was like, oh, this person's getting more, this person's getting more, this person's getting less, and it was like, whoa, a lot of pressure. So, um, um, how it normally is, the the leading couple picks um the couple they want to go against and then the couple that was chosen they get to pick the style of dance and then they just go and boom 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 then the judges pick who they want to win and i'm happy there's only three for this because i remember last season when it was a tie they would be like oh well len is the head judge so his vote means whoever he voted for wins and i don't know that was kind of weird I like how there's three, so it's, um, not a tie. First, it was Bindi and Derek, and their strategy she was like, who wants to do the jive? And Carlos was like, oh yeah, me and Whitney want to do the jive. But I thought it was stupid of them to say, oh, we want to do the jive. You must have been really confident in your jive to go against Bindi and Derek, because if that's the dance they want to do, that meant they were going to kill it, and they were confident in it as well. So yeah, I was like, oh, Bindi is going to kill it. But then Carlos goes out and I was very surprised. I was like, oh wow, that was that was really good. Bindi won America's votes and Carlos won Judge's votes. I would have voted for Carlos and Whitney. I, I personally I liked their jive better. But that's just me. I liked them both though. It was very hard. I um but yeah, I would pick Carlos and Whitney. And then next after them it was um Tamar and Val versus Alexa and Mark, and I think they did the cha-cha-cha, I, I believe. I think Alexa and Mark won America's votes, and I believe Tamar and Val won the judges' votes. I liked Alexa and Mark's better, so I agree with you guys there. Good call, America. Tamar and Val did very good, too, and um, I'm happy that they won. Good for them. Oh my god, this is probably the best part of the night. Um, Alec and Lindsay versus Andy and Allison, and they did the samba. I love that, like, <laughs> when in doubt, like, flip it out. I just made that up. That was really good. That should be, like, a quote or something. That should be, like, a Twitter bio. And he was like, yo, I ain't, I ain't doing this. And, like, I don't know. I just, I love that. <laughs> that made me so happy. I liked Andy and Allison better. I think that the judges liked Andy and Allison better. And I think America liked Andy and Allison better. So we were all happy. Alec did good, too. I just, I really liked Andy and Allison. Oh, yeah. My favorite part of the night, elimination. But let's be positive here. Nick and Shauna have immunity, so they can't be voted out, and that, that's good. The two that were in Jeopardy, it was Andy and Ellison, Carlos and Whitney, and either way, I would have been absolutely devastated. Andy and Allison got eliminated, and, um, I'm not okay. I love them so much. Maybe they weren't the strongest dancers, but... They were so much fun to watch, and, um, yeah, it upset me a small bit, because I love them. Nope. <sighs> At least Allie can rest now, because, you know, she's got a baby in her tummy. I love him for staying so positive and just, like, being happy, and he posted this really sweet message on Instagram this morning, thanking everyone for the experience, and, you know, like, I think he went out on a good night because honestly if he were to make it this week i think he would have went home next week because it was a low scoring dance this week but um yeah until next week oh, goodbye